everyone, welcome to my channel, Ansie Brixton's channel. Today's tutorial is all on this makeup look right here. Okay, you wanna go down? Let me try that again. Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. Welcome if you are new and welcome if you have been subbed to my channel for a while. Um, I just got my hair freshly dyed as you can see, which is like one of the best days of the month. I'm like, yes! Fresh hair. I just got some uh, new extensions as well, and I will be making a video about those. Um, and also, quick thing is this yellow, this neon yellow right here, is one of our new colors that should be coming out at the end of June, which is very exciting. You guys have been requesting it for a really long time, so I'm excited to bring it to you. Anyways, moving on. This tutorial is on the look you see right here. I was wearing it today and I was like, oh, I like this look. I um, have no plans tonight, so I'm gonna film a tutorial. So here I am. And, uh, let's jump right into it. As you can see, I have already laid down my foundation and done my brows. So if you wanna know how to do that, then the links will be in the description box below. I am going to apply some Plur Eye Primer. I use this brush because I do not like how my finger applies uh, eye primer. I feel like my fingerprints like just screw it all up. I'm going to apply Sin by Urban Decay on my brow bone. Like so. And if you want to look like a magical fairy, you're going to extend this a little bit. Like so. I am also going to apply this right in here. Pretty much like this whole area and a little bit down here. Next, we're gonna work on, hang on for the motorcycle. Does it really need to be that loud? Next, we're gonna work on the crease. We are going to use Urban from the Urban Decay Electric Palette as well as Slow Burn because I'm gonna create like kind of like a rusty, um, rust? Rust color. So that's how we're gonna create that with these two right here. So first I'm gonna apply Urban in my crease here. And it's okay if it gets on my eyelid because purple's gonna go there anyway. And I'm not really bringing it in right here. I'm concentrating most of the product right over here on the outer edge and in the crease. And then with what's left over on my brush once I'm done like kind of just applying it all right there, I'm gonna kind of lightly brush this inwards just so there's like a faintness of purple, but it's not like, whoa, purple. And I'm gonna tilt my brush this way and kind of just kind of stipple this outwards like this. I see Crispy like and Sandra Deluxe getting all crazy with that. Like, I am just not that comfortable with this outer edge of my eye just yet, especially this one, it hates me. This is the only one that ever turns out. So I'm gonna slowly ease in to just like wing this outwards because I don't wanna F it up. I am going to, cause I love this, brush so much that I need to use it every step of the way, pretty much. I'm going to get the color out of it in this nearly fairly clean rag. Now I am going to just lightly blend this out, circular motions, windshield wiper motions, whatever it takes to get the job done. Now with the same brush, we're gonna go in with slow burn right there and just put this right on top. Same method with the purple, concentrating in the crease and out here and kind of lowly, lowly, slowly dragging inwards. Oh my goodness, I forgot to put powder right here. I'm gonna take my silky cotton loose powder, just put some of this here. So if I have any fallout, it's easier to kind of just wipe away. And I am blending out the orange. And this didn't give me the like exact rusty tone that I wanted. So I am going to use Rust Pure Pigment by Obsessive and Compulsive, just a little bit to lay it over top to just really like lock in that orangey color. So this is just deepening it a little bit. And just blending this out as well. And with what's left over on the brush that I use to apply the brow bone color, I'm just gonna kind of stipple a little bit back over top of that because I got, I got a little cray cray with the eyeshadow up there and I didn't want it to be quite that high. So this is just like a super easy fix for that. 
Next, I'm going in with NYX's Jumbo Eye Pencil in um, Purple Violet. It's this awesome purpley color. I'm gonna kinda use this as like an eyeshadow base. And I'm just going to apply this all over my mobile eyelid here and almost all the way in. And I'm gonna press lighter as I get towards the inner corner. Next, I'm going with Urban, and I'm actually gonna use this brush right here that came with this palette, and just lay that color right on top of the entire eyelid, and stipple it up into the crease so it blends out a little bit with our other colors. Once the whole eyelid is covered, I'm gonna go in with, um, let's see, this is Savage right here and Jilted, and I'm gonna take this little tiny brush, and I'm gonna dip a little bit of each of those, and I'm going to just kind of apply this from right here in. I'm gonna go back in with the brush that we did up here and down here with and just add a little bit more shimmer to the inner corners. Now for glitter. This is an awesome purple glitter Aurora by Violet Voss. I don't know if you can see the, whoa, shoot, cool. That's never gonna come off. Before we do that, I'm gonna go in with uh, Too Faced Eyeshadow Insurance. I heard that they were taking this off of the market, out of their product line, which is really unfortunate because this stuff is awesome. I'm going to use the same brush that uh, we applied the purple on the lid with. Just get a bit of that on there. And lay it over top of my eyelid. I'm not gonna wipe because if you wipe, it's gonna pull the pigment off of your eyelid and it's gonna be like, an oh crap moment and it's gonna suck. So don't do that. Tap, 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 and keep it right on your eyelid. Don't go too far up here. See, look, it's already coming off right there. I was tapping too long. Like this. And just place the glitter right on top. And I'm gonna press harder here to get it to stick. Um, I just wanted a, a thicker layer here and then lighter as I come in towards the inner corner. You can like, Keep adding more glitter and more glitter until it's like as dense as you'd like it, depending on what kind of glitter you're using. Some is a little more thick and dense than others, and some is a little lighter and fluffier, and you have to put a bunch of it on there. Now I'm going to wipe away the fallout powder that I put on there, and this is a good time, like if this, these are uneven right here, to kind of clean that up a little bit. You can straighten it out. You can uh, blend it out a little better. Now I'm going to use my tattoo liner in Trooper aka Black by Kat Von D. I absolutely love this liner. Starting out here, I'm gonna draw a bit of a wing to kind of follow this line, like rough line of the eyeshadow here. And I'm not gonna make it too big, but about there, and then start from here and follow it into my lash line. Now I'm going to line my inner rim down here with Obsessive Compulsive Tard. And I wanna share with you something right now that just like blew my mind before I started filming. I pulled this guy out of my drawer. This is the NYX Powder Black Liner. And I was like, powder black liner? Okay, you've got my attention. So I pulled it open and it's this like little, dry tip and I was like, is it dried out? Like what's going on? And okay, that's not it right there. Don't pay attention to that. But if you put this on here, it is literally like putting black liner eyeshadow just right like on your eye and it's like insane. So I've never tried this before. Uh, so let's try it out. Oh my gosh, stop it right now. This is, the weirdest eyeliner that I've ever used, but it's very cool. To work this into my lash line a little better, I'm gonna go in with this color right here. This is actually my own testing palette for Raw Cosmetics, and this is uh, our black right here that I absolutely love, so I'm gonna go in with that, just get a little bit on my brush, and kind of move this black around. I'm gonna connect this to my wing right here. Now it's time for mascara. I'm taking, someone said this is pure, not purr. So taking my pure uh, Big Look mascara 
And I'm gonna apply this to the top and the bottom. And I'm gonna apply lots of this to the bottom because I like tarantula lashes. I'm not gonna lie. While that dries, I'm gonna be using my NYX Wicked Lashes. This is uh, Wicked Lashes in T's uh, or 03. These are like nice and long and full and I just feel like they're gonna be um, perfect for this look. So let's find out if I'm right. For cheeks, I'm gonna keep this super simple. I'm gonna use the NYX Sunkissed Radiant Finishing Powder. Go like that. Get some of everything. I'm gonna put it right in the hollows of my cheeks. Kind of like you would with a contour. And with what's left over on my brush, I'm going to lightly dust this onto my jawline. Now for highlighting, I'm gonna go in with uh, Craving by NARS. It looks like this, I'm gonna go in with this one right here. And this little fountain brush from Smashbox, it's so old, I don't even know which one it is. And just apply this right on top of my cheekbone. A little bit on my nose and on my cupid's bow. Onto lips, I'm gonna take the foundation brush that I used today and just put on, put over my lips whatever I had left. And I've got the NYX Nude Beige Lip Liner. Now I'm gonna use the NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream in um, London. All right guys, here is the finished look right here. I hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial and I hope it was easy for you to follow along. I try and do that with my tutorials. So with that being said, if you guys recreate this look at all, I would absolutely love to see it and I am glued to my phone at all times. So hashtag Kristen Leanne so I can come check it out and um, tell you how awesome you look. Thanks for watching. Please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And I would like to do more and more and more makeup tutorials for summer and just like whatever you guys want. So leave in the comments below what kind of makeup looks you wanna see or link me to a picture or a celebrity or a music video and I'll check it out and um, see if I can recreate it for you guys. Thank you for spending time with me and I will catch you in my next video. Bye. Oops, I'm burning up in here, why is the AC not on? What's that called on your fingertips? It's sweating my